Hi, I'm Nadine Whitehead and welcome to My Life of Baking. We're here in my kitchen in St. Joseph, Missouri, and this is where I work out of to do my cake business, County Road Cakes. My grandson's joining me and we're gonna make some fancy cupcakes today. We're starting out with a lot of colors ready. Corbin is grinding up some graham crackers in a bag and we're going to use that along with some chocolate ganache to first top the cupcakes. So we're going to get busy and one thing I want to show you is I'm going to show you how to do two colors in a bag that's a really easy way. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down some green frosting and this is a little brighter than the other bag that I got ready. So we're going to get a little bit of green frosting on there and then we're going to take some peach colored frosting and we're going to just add that. It was a bag I had left over from something else I was doing today. So I just thought this was a good way to use up some of that frosting. And then I'm going to roll that up in that saran wrap and I'm going to just spin it around and get the ends tight and I'm going to get my tip on the bag so I got to cut off the point of the bag about that big. I'm going to stick the coupler inside and I'm going to put this tip over it and this one is a K23 leaf tip and get all that bag tucked inside of that tip and get it pretty tight and then what I want to do is just take what I just twisted up and cut one end off and then I'm going to drop it down in the bag and then what I get is a two-tone color that's going to come out of the end of that and you'll see as I'm decorating the cupcakes. So, I think we'll get started. Um, go ahead and roll those out and get them crumbs in the bag. He's getting the graham cracker crumbs ready for me. And what we're gonna do is make a succulent bed out of the cupcakes. So, we need some sand thus the graham crackers. <laughs> it's not as fun as you You want me to give it a roll? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Looks pretty good to me, maybe just right there along that edge. Okay, so add them to the bowl and we'll get started. There we go. So slide that bowl of ganache over and we've made some chocolate ganache. We put some chocolate chips in the bowl and we just covered them with cream and then we set it in the microwave for just a, maybe a minute or so. We want to heat it up until the cream is hot but not boiling. And we've got the chocolate ganache made. So we've got that here and we're going to take these cupcakes and we're gonna dip it in the ganache and then we're gonna dip it in the graham cracker and that makes our little sandy start to decorating our cupcakes so I'm gonna have my grandson start dipping these and we have all different flavors of cupcakes since I have a cake business sometimes I have extra cake batter that won't fit in a pan and I'll at, make a few cupcakes and I've tucked a few away the last couple weeks so we're ready to use them all up. So I have some different flavors. I have a couple marble, a couple strawberry, some champagne, strawberry, I'm trying to think, some chocolate and some Italian cream cake. So this will be a nice assortment when we get done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these cakes and I, I'm going to pipe some cactus on them or some succulents. So we'll start with the one that we just set up and it's two colors. 
So what I want to do is just get a start around the outside edge and it's a two-tone leaf as we're going around. And then if you do it at different angles, you'll get the colors a little different places. I've got a little drip coming out. There we go. So you just want to alternate where you already piped. So you don't want to go over the top exactly. You want to kind of alternate it in between the other leaves. And then we're going to stand some leaves up. And we have a little succulent, a little two-tone leaf succulent. So we'll set that one over there. Boy, he's getting way ahead of me. <laughs> All right. So we have lots of different bags and lots of different tips. We've got some flat Russian tips and we have a rose tip, a different style of leaf tip that's also in a two-tone color. And then I have a pink rose tip and this one is a number 6i, I guess. And it's a little bigger tip and it's a ruffle tip or a multi-star tip. And then we have just the number one tip. It's a little tiny, little tiny dot. And then we have a smaller leaf tip in the light green. So this one, I'm going to make a different style with the rose tip. And it'll be a different style of cactus. So we're just going to start by turning it and kind of like using it as our nail. But we want to keep it really close and really closed face so it isn't not like a rose where you would open it up. That one got a little open there. Got to know how to hold your wrist, I guess, to make sure it stays closed. But there's our little cactus like that for your succulent. I'm going to take this one. Oops, it didn't want to stick. Let's wipe that off too. Okay, got another tip here. So I'm going to change this tip out for a minute. And that's the nice thing about having a coupler on your bag. You can change the tips back and forth if you want to use the same color but a different style. So I'm going to take this and this is a number 80 and it's just a little curved, just a little curved tip. And I'm going to go back around the one I just did and put another leaf out from it. And we're going to give this cactus a little bloom. got a little bloom on it. We'll put one on this side also. Oops, that one doesn't want to stick very good. So one thing about those graham crackers on there, they don't want to, it doesn't want to stick as well as just piping on top of a cupcake. But there we have that one. Boy, he's just going to town over here. <laughs> so I want to take this tip and we're going to make a stand-up cactus and we'll do a couple of those on here and then we're going to take our number one white tip and we're going to add the little thorns on there and you want to add it just on the little fins so it looks like a little cactus. This just takes a minute because there's lots of little dots and you can only get so much out of that tip once. There we go. So we've got a couple little cactus. And I'm going to put a pink rose because this when this blooms, I think the blossom is kind of pink. So we're going to put a pink rose right here and another one over on the other side. So there you have some.
some little cactus and some little pink roses. Now I'm just going to do a uh, light green. We'll start at the nice because it makes really long leaves and it always leaves a nice point. And it stands up pretty well. So we have that on there. And then we'll go with a bigger one and it's two-tone and we're just going to put a bunch of leaves on this side. There we go. So we got a little bit of color. And we're continuing on. We're making a few more designs. So I want to put my rose tip back on here. Well, on second thought, you know, I think I've got another one that I can do that's really neat for this tip. So we're going to go around and start this one. And it's just a lot of piping, a lot of little strokes with your piping. And it's also almost like making a chrysanthemum, but it's a little succulent. So it's really pretty. So we have that one. Now we want the rose tip. And we're going to do similar to the first rose type succulent we did. But this one is going to cover the whole top of the cupcake. So it'll be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to pick one of these smaller around cupcakes so we don't have to do. We're going to put a big blob in the middle and that's where we're going to start. And we're just going to bring it up and go down and bring it up and go down and keep that pointed towards the middle. Where with a rose, you'd want to have that, you'd want to be tipping your point outwards. Here you want to keep your point tipping inwards so we can cover this whole cupcake and it looks like more like a succulent than a rose. And there you have it. I'm going to use the rose tip again. If I can get this loosened up, sometimes those feel like they are really, really tight. And I'm just going to get rid of the color that was in here by putting it on. And then I'm going to just squeeze a little of that color out and then we can do what we're going to do. So this one, I'm going to hold the tip inwards and I'm going to make little bumps out. So the point of the rose tip is in the middle and the wide end is towards the outside. And again, we have a two color. And I really like the way this is turning out. I think it's so pretty. And there we have it. We're going to do this tip. And it's also a two color. And we're going to do a full cover. My hand doesn't turn around that far. <laughs> and there's that one. And I want to go back and make a couple more of these on a cupcake.
and then we'll bring out some of these little puffs on this. And we have to add our white. So it looks like I've showed you about all the cactuses I'm gonna do, all these pretty little succulents. They are so fun to make. I'm gonna be here for a while piping all my little succulents on top of these cupcakes. And I want to thank you all for watching my life of baking. I'm Nadine Whitehead, and this is my home in St. Joseph, Missouri, and County Road Cakes. I hope you enjoyed it. I know my grandson is having fun over here. He keeps going. He's so far ahead of me, it'll take me hours to catch up. So we'll see you again. Thanks.